Hello everyone. Welcome back to this online class. Today we are going to look at Gauss Chebyshev integration method. And in particular, we are going to look at the three point formula. Now we have this question. We are asked to evaluate the integral from zero to two of x squared minus one, everything cubed times cosine of x dx, correct to four decimal places using Gauss Chebyshev three point formula. Now, what is important about uh, this Gauss Chebyshev integration methods is that you must ensure that the limits of integration are from negative one to positive one. If that is not the case, then transform the given integral. You see now in this case, we have the limits from zero to two. We will ensure that instead of zero, we should have negative one. And instead of two, we should have positive one. So the first step is the domain transformation. So you can write here step one. Transform the given domain, the given domain. What is our given domain? It is from zero to two. This is the X domain. We are transforming this onto our new domain is negative one to positive one. So it means we are transforming from the x limits to now the new variable t. So if you look at those two domains, you realize that zero will be mapped onto negative one and two will be mapped onto one. And how do we transform from one domain to another domain? We are going to be using a linear transformation. Using a linear transformation. Our linear transformation should be x is equals to mt plus c. So let's find the values of the constant, constants m and c. Now you realize that when x is zero, that that's the lower limit, our new domain should have the lower limit as t is equals to negative one. So when I make the substitution, I'll get zero is equals to m times negative one plus c, which you can as well write as negative m plus c is equals to zero. And this is your first equation. What about the upper limits? When x is two, t should be one. So you can write here, when x is equals to two, t should be equal to one. Substitute into your linear transformation, we'll have two is equals to m times one plus c. So this will give you m plus c is equals to two. This is equation two. So let's solve the two equations simultaneously to get the values of m and c. When you solve them, if I add, I'm going to get two c is, e is equals to two. So that will give us c is equals to one. And so m will also be equal to one. So therefore, our linear transformation is now x is equals to t plus one. So this simply change of variable that in, in the given integral, instead of having it as an integral depending on x, we should now change it from x to t. And you see when we are changing, a, uh, when you are making a change of variable, even the differential dx must also be able to change in terms of dt. So what is dx dt? From here, dx dt is equals to one 
which means if I make dx the subject, that should be able to give us 1 dt or simply dt. You make dx the subject so that you get dx is equals to dt. So now let's see how to change or simply to transform the integral. So you can say here that hence our integral which is uh, the integral from 0 to 2 of x squared minus 1 cubed cos x dx in terms of dt it will be equal to the integral from now negative 1 to 1 of our x is t plus 1. So t plus 1, you square it, subtract 1, then you cube it, cosine of t plus 1, dt, dx will be dt. So, that's our new integral, where the integrand now is a function of t. Let me simplify this. This is equals to the integral from negative 1 to 1 The first bracket should give us t squared plus 2t plus 1 then it is cubed so there's also negative 1 so that should be plus 2t and this is cubed cosine of t plus 1 dt. Now, having transformed our given integral, let's see how to use Gauss Chebyshev three point formula to estimate that integral. So now you can say using Gauss Chebyshev three point formula. The formula states that if you want to integrate, let me write it here. If I want to integrate from negative one to one of one over the square root of t squared minus one, of course, the other way around, one over the square root of one minus t squared. So this should be one minus t squared times f of t dt. This should be approximately equal to pi over 3 into f of negative root 3 over 2. f of negative root 3 and this is over 2, plus f of 0, plus f of positive root 3, divided by 2. That is the Gauss-Chebyshev three-point formula. You realize that we are multiplying f of t by 1 over the root of 1 minus t squared. That is called the weight function. So in this case, the weight function is one over the square root of one minus t squared. It is called the weight function. It is a function of t. So let's go back to our integral. The whole of the, this integrand, if I do the comparison with our Gauss-Chebyshev three-point formula, you realize that this is what we are saying should be equal to uh, 1 over the square root of 1 minus t squared 
times f of t. So it is the whole of that. So make f of t the subject. Remember, this is equals to t squared plus 2t cubed cosine of t plus 1. So from here, you can get f of t. Therefore, our f of t, if you make it the subject, it will be equal to the square root of 1 minus t squared times t squared plus 2t cubed then times cosine of t plus 1. So once you have found your f of t, you now proceed to compute f of negative root 3 over 2, f of 0, and f of positive root 3 over 2. So let's compute them here. So you can say that therefore, therefore, f of negative root 3 over 2, what will it be equal to? It means where there is t, you put negative root 3 over 2. So it will be the square root of 1 minus negative root 3 over 2. This is supposed to be squared. Times negative root 3 over 2 squared plus 2 times t, which is negative root 3 over 2. This bracket will be cubed, then times cosine of uh, t plus 1. Remember what is uh, negative root 3 over 2? So times cosine of negative root 3 over 2, you add this to 1. So when, when you press this in your calculator, what do you, what do we get? You need to get uh, negative 0 0.4693 uh, Let's also find f of 0. f of 0, in this case now t is 0, it will be the square root of 1 minus 0 squared into 0 squared plus 2 times 0. This is cubed cosine of 0 plus 1. And this should give us 0. And finally, f of root 3 over 2, f of root 3 over 2. That will be equal to the square root of 1 minus root 3 over 2 squared times root 3 over 2 squared plus 2 times root 3 over 2. This should be cubed times cosine of root 3 over 2 plus 1. Remember the root is only at 3, root 3 and everything over 2. Again, press this in your calculator. You need to get negative 2.2. 2245. So this is negative 2.2245. So now we have those values. Let's go back to the formula and substitute the values we have found. This is our formula. I'm going to replace the values that we have found. So this will be equal to pi over 3 times. The first one was negative 0 0.4693. 
the other one was zero and the other one is negative 2.2245. And uh, when you press in your calculator, you need to get uh, negative 2.8209. So this is the approximate value of the integral when we use Gauss-Chebyshev three-point formula. So this is correct to four decimal places. Of course, you could compare this with the exact solution, but you see it is not possible to find the exact solution because that integral is very complex. We cannot apply the analytical techniques to find that kind of integral. So thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is Professor Francis Okech. When you go to the YouTube search, type Francis Okech or Prof Francis Okech, and you will find me right there. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and share this video. When you meet next time, we look at more problems involving Gauss-Chebyshev integration methods. Bye-bye.